Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am Lisa of Diamonds and Stitches, and today I am going to do a kitting up of, let's see here, a Wolf Dreamcatcher, a Diamond Art Club canvas, and the artist is Su Su Suveya Meister. Oh, I probably, Suniva, Suniva Meister. I probably butchered that. I apologize. And I will definitely link that down below. Names are not my thing. I can't even keep my kids and the dog straight. So I apologize again. Um, yeah, but that's, that's the kit I'm going to do. This kit, uh, well, first, let's do this. I have actually uh, organized all of the diamonds um, according to the number that I place them in. So if you are new to my channel, I have these awesome storage kit um, that I use to store my diamonds in. I love them. They are um, hard-sided, hard-sided um, cases. I have videos on them. Um, please go check it out. I find that this is the best system for me. It has a handle. It zips up. Um, it comes in 15, 30, or 60 bottles. The bottles are awesome. Um, these ones are different. I have a lot of these ones. Can you hear that? They're more um, hard plastic. Uh, I don't even know what they, they really call it, but um, and it has a domed, more of a dome-shaped lid. Um, the ones I recently received that I am using for the uh, the collab piece I'm doing with Sherry, Diamond Art Addiction, I bought a special storage case for that one because uh, it had a lot of colors. And I knew it was going to have a lot of colors. And um, it has 45. And so I bought another 60 case from a different store and they came as different bottles and um, they had flatter tops. They are not as um, thick as these. Um, these seem like more glass plastic, whereas the other ones are definitely like lighter plastic. So uh, it depends on where you buy them from. And, and I've also heard that there are two different sizes. I've gotten lucky and I don't know why I just say that's the one I want and that's what comes and they've always been this bigger size. My understanding is that there's another one that probably goes to about there. It's not quite half this size, but um, they're smaller. So um, yeah, so to kit up, um, there are 31 colors to this. There's two AB diamonds, super excited about it, and some special gems. So technically 32 colors, but they only put it as 31 colors. If you are new to my channel, this is how I kit up my um, diamonds. They, on the index or the color chart or... Uh, I don't know what everybody calls it, but the little strip that's down the side of the canvas, it tells you what the number to the symbols are or the symbol color and then the color of the gems. Um, some people either photocopy that or make stickers of it or do something and then cut them out, put it through their Xyron machine or, you know, however they do it. Some just, you know, add new, new stickers to the tops of their, um, storage cases, uh, storage units, whatever they're using, and draw the symbol on or whatever. Okay, I made it super simple on myself. And what I did is, and, and Diamond Art Club makes this simple too, on their index. Let's see if I can show you real quick. Because then it makes it like I know what I'm talking about, right? Because right now, is anybody getting what I'm talking about? Probably not. Okay, so see on the index, it's got, okay, that's backwards to me, so I can't see it. So it's got number one, and then it's got, holy good night, nurse. Uh, it's got the symbol, and then the number, the DMC number or the AB diamond number, 
um, is on here. So number one is the symbol and then the um, what the package relates to. Number two, symbol, and then what is that, 300? And, um, and number three. So instead of me drawing this symbol and then also putting in the number of what the package is, I just go number one, I know is going to be this symbol and this color when I'm working on my chart. So every time I go and see number ones in here, I go to my little bottle that says number one and um, get those diamonds. You know, the same down in number eight. I'll look for the symbols of number eight um, and then pick my number eight bottle out. And I know that, the, that everything is, that is in bottle eight relates to whatever the symbol number eight shows. If that makes sense, I hope that made sense. So that's what I do and it makes it easier for me so that I don't have to, um, so that I don't have to um, change out the tops. I don't have to do anything weird um, at the end of my kitting down. I just take out all of the diamonds and if it's a diamond art club, then I will store them um, or I'll keep them in another little storage system that I put together. And I'm changing that a little bit because I saw somebody on YouTube who had a fantastic little system. And, um, and so I'm going to change mine out. Okay, so because I talked an awful lot that first little bit, seriously, six minutes on how how to do your storage system. Wow. And I'm sorry, I do edit my videos, <clears throat> but I guess the way that I talk sometimes, if I edit it too much, there's just no way you're even going to know what the heck I talked about. So I apologize that the intro was darn close to six minutes long. And um, yeah. So while I'm talking, we will get these all in there. Oops, not, not big enough. Um, these little bottles hold a lot. I have ordered more storage cases because why the heck not? Um, you know, uh, Amazon was doing their prime sale. Well, at the same time, and this probably was coincidental, but at the same time, Ally Express was having a semi small little sale. And you know me, I like a sale. And so, um, okay, there's a lot of three tens. Make sure that that really is number four. I did sort these all out. So, <clears throat> all right, let's see how many of these will make it in there. And what doesn't will go into, I have a plastic baggie for all the bigger ones that, um, don't fit and I discovered that you can get nine bags is it nine no was it seven was it eight? <laughs> oh my god you guys are gonna have to watch my video um my kidding up video oh oh it was the kidding up video for um my collab piece and um you know, it's, it's a, it's a Ally Express kit. And so they come with those awesome, sarcastically, um, the, um, tiny cellophane bags that they put, I don't even know how many are in those, those, um, I do not know how many they put in one of those, um, little, what do we call these packages oh, too early in the morning and I've not had enough coffee. <laughs> Let's take a minute. Mm. Okay. Even though it's not real coffee, I kind of pretend like it is and we're all good. It's flavored water. If you know me, you've watched my videos, you know that I love me some, what did I call it? General Hill? No, general, mm. Hills Brothers, Hills Brothers, uh, cappuccino in the French vanilla flavor, not the sugar-free one because, oh, 
that is gross. And honestly, if I'm going to drink it for calories, I don't drink it for calories. Um, if I'm going to drink it, I want to enjoy it. And if it has calories to it, oh well, because, you know, yeah. Um, unfortunately, I drink a lot of it during the day, and I'm pretty sure that I probably drink at least 800, if not more, calories of this stuff, which I know is disgusting. But um, I just like it so much, and I've gone on this bender of this stuff, and I buy it. Okay, I go to Winco. I don't know if you guys have a Winco. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's what kind of chain it is, but we got a couple of Winkos here, and um, and it's grocery store, and it's very very similar to, it's a downscaled, um, superstore from Canada. Um, yeah, a downscaled superstore. Though I haven't been to a superstore for quite some time, probably five years or more. So it may have changed again. I don't know. But dang, back when I used to live at home, Superstore was our place to go. Love Superstore. You could get baby stuff, your groceries, your makeup, some clothes. I mean, dishware if you wanted. It had everything. Bedding, towels. Yeah, it was awesome. I'm on a much smaller scale, like say a Kmart or whatever. But Kmart didn't have groceries, right? So, um... Okay, rambling, Lisa, rambling. Um, so where was I earlier before I started talking about coffee and went down a dumb rabbit hole? I don't remember. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Okay, well, <laughs> sorry. Again, paused and lost my train of thought. And that happens a lot, you guys, because he... <laughs> I joke, I am old, I'm not old, I just um, am forgetful, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because age is a state of mind, right, okay, um, okay, so this kit that I am doing, this wolf dream maker, uh, no, dream catcher, oh gosh, is it called Dream Catcher? Oh, I would have. Yes, Wolf Dream Catcher. So what I did was, because I couldn't decide on what I wanted to do next, and I have seen people do the, you know, vote for my next, my next um, canvas, which I think is really cool, but I wanted to do something a little different. So I found this wheel. I was randomly searching for something one day. I do a lot of searching um, on Google. Like, Really, that could be my full-time job, um, but it's not. Um, I don't have a full-time job. <laughs> I work. Okay, nope, my full-time job is being mom. Whoa, okay, Lisa, stop getting distracted and go back. Um, wheel. So I got on this this thing, and it, it had, like, names, random names in it. But then down on the bottom, it said edit. And I was like, oh, okay. So I started playing around with it. And, um, I'm, I'm one of those people who is a doer, like, um, don't show me how to do things. If allow me to do it, you know, tell me about it and then allow me to, like, I'm hands-on. That's what I mean. I'm hands-on. And so, um, you know, I'll go and find things and then I've got to like figure it out myself. And, <clears throat> and so, oh my goodness sakes. Wow. Okay, Lisa, maybe concentrate a little bit. Um, so anyways, wheel. Oh. Um, so I put in all of my Diamond Art Club kits that I currently have. Oh, did I? Yep, yeah, nope. And so what I did was I um, went online and I took all of my orders from Diamond Art Club. And interesting, interesting, I noticed make sure that I'm still on the right track here. Number 10 should be 445. Oh, look at that. I was going to mess myself up. Um, interesting. Ooh, ooh, and there's a couple of escapees. Let's put those back in. Um, 
God, I hope that you guys are doing, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, like find a kit or like do like your craft, whatever you're doing while you're watching this video, because it may take a while. No, it's not going to take a while, but ooh, little, a little all over the place this morning. I don't know why. Um, okay, back up. Wheel. <laughs> So what I did was I went to the diamond art, all my diamond art orders, art club, diamond art club orders. And, um, interesting fact, I buy something every month. Like I, I started in March, March. I bought a couple of kits in March. I did it again in April, did a couple of kits in May, did a couple of kits in June. And now I have, I just did an order. I just made it in the July time frame, And <clears throat> I have for July. So I was kind of cracking up. I apparently have a, uh, a system down for ordering Diamond Art Club un completely unintentional. I didn't even realize I was doing it. So um, that's my pattern, apparently, with Diamond Art Club. I wonder if I do the same thing with Ally Express. I should go have a look. But I put myself on a no-buy for a while. But I will say, in my defense, that my June one was really early in June, and my July one was, I mean, seriously, just Monday, I think, and today is Sunday. So not quite a week ago, I ordered... Oh, that can't be right because they're not here yet. Huh. When did I order those? I don't know. Okay. Well, anyways. Um, yeah. So that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Wheel. So I put in all of my Diamond Art Club based on my orders of the ones that I have not finished yet. And I said to my wheel, spin the wheel. And, um, that way I chose two kits that I would do and I posted, Ooh, I posted it on my Instagram, um, yesterday as well as, Oh, I got accepted into the, um, group, <clears throat> the Facebook group that Mrs. Coffee crafting with, Oh, good Lord. I'll butcher that. So, um, Mrs. Coffee and Rachel Ray do, um, I'll link that down below as well. And so I posted it in that one. And then I also belong to my Diamond Art Addiction uh, Facebook group. And so I did it in that one as well. Well, I had two lovely ladies who responded to that post and said, oh, that's such a great idea. I have that kit too. And how about we um, do it, you know, together as a challenge? And I was like, oh, that sounds like a fantastic idea. So I went on Diamond Art Club and made sure, well, there are two kits that are, um, have the words wolf and dream catcher in them. And one is a JoJo's art and one is, okay, Lisa is having some issues this morning. One is JoJo's art and one is this one, uh, Suniva, Suniva Meyer, Meister. And, um, so I messaged them back and I was like, okay, just so we're on the same page, because there are two, I want to make sure that you guys have the same kit that I do. And they did not. So they actually had the JoJo's art one, which is really funny because I looked at JoJo's and I was going to buy that one. Okay. Whoa, I am having some problems. So I'm going to do it this way. Um, I was going to buy that one, but I chose this one instead just because I think my boyfriend is going to like this one more. And, um, but that's okay because my son loves wolves and I will do JoJo's, the JoJo art one. And so it's called Dreamcatcher Wolf, I believe. And so, um, so I told them if you would hang on um, until next month when I clearly buy monthly from Diamond Art Club, then I would be happy to do the challenge. They both agreed to wait 
And, um, and so we're going to do that as a challenge. So I guess, you know, my challenge to you is, is if you have that kit that I think it's called Dreamcatcher Wolf by Jojo's Art, and it is in your stash and it is something that you would like to do, um, and would like to join us in that challenge, um, either make a comment down below or message me um, and uh, maybe we can all do that together as a challenge. Just know that I am an uber slow diamond painter. And so, um, yeah, everybody's probably gonna win uh, before I am. So maybe I can get like an award for being the slowest dp -er. Uh I think that there should be one of those. <laughs> But maybe we'll make it exciting and do like a, a gift. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I thought that it was so sweet that, you know, that these two ladies reached out and said, hey, let's, you know, let's do it as a challenge. So I'm, I'm up. I'm up. Love it. Okay, let me just make sure that I have not messed myself up completely. I am on 16 and it should be 779. Yes. Um, ooh, was I talking about before how many diamonds went into these little bottles? I think I was. I think I was. Okay, you guys, when I point or do stuff, it's not to be rude. I talk with my hands all the time. And so, um, so please, if you think that I'm like pointing at you or whatever, I'm not. Um, I just talk with my hands. And so... I, I try to be conscious of it, just like I try very hard to be conscious about not swearing on this channel, because I know that, you know, that there's people who don't, who don't agree, um, with swearing and, and, uh, I know others do and, and, uh, that's okay. Um, my real self, my, well, I am my real self on here. I'm funny because that's my real self. Um, but in, in my daily life with family, friends, that kind of thing. Sometimes even work. Um, I have a truck driver's mouth. My, my grandma used to say I had the work. Oh no. This is what happens with all of those silly little trays that have the, the spout on them too. Okay. You guys, Ugh. well, I would say pause please, but you know what? We're just going to go with it. So Dang it. Actually, this might be a pause, please. I think I have to go and get a baggie. Because I didn't realize that this one was so big. And I have another one that also is pretty big. Oh, I might be able to get those back in there. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, this is a daily occurrence on my part. Oh. I have rug diamonds, guys. Rug diamonds. Mm hmm. I do. I wonder if they're poisonous to dogs. <laughs> That's not nice. That was not funny. That was not meant to be funny. I was just in my head thinking, hmm, I just see, you know, Rhea, who ate yarn the other day, um, trying to lick up these little diamonds because she's psycho. So I shall have to get my my vacuum cleaner and do a really good job because I'm sure that that would be really quite interesting to go out to the kennel and see what's diamonds in in the kennel mm -hmm. okay I did most of it you guys I did most of it wow that was a that was a tiny epic fail We'll see if I edit that part out. I don't think I will. Seriously, this is my life. Anyway, okay, yes, truck driver mouth. My my grandma was, and she was horrified too because, you know, she was a lady. She was a lady. She was one of those gentle ladies that, I mean, she always smelled good. She, um, you know, she was one of those ladies who would change her purse daily and wear lipstick, and she had her going out outfits, her going out dresses, and her home, home, you know, clothes, and, um, 
Yeah, no, she was a lady, and then she got one granddaughter. There's just my, my brother and I, because uh, that's my mom's mom, and my mom was an only child. So, um, yeah, she got this little girl who she thought was going to be a princess and a dolly and, you know, dress up and everything, and she ended up being worse than a sailor, sailor potty mouth. Yeah, so... There are certain people, like my mom hates the F word, and I mean hates the F word. She hates to hear people say it. She especially does not think that ladies should say it because to her it just is not, and you know, she's got a daughter who drops the F bomb quite a lot, and, um, but I make a very conscious effort to not do it in front of her, and, um, and so, yeah, you just, <laughs> you learn what is acceptable and what is not. And um, I learned real fast when, you know, back in the day, you got backhanded. Yes, for your potty mouth. Mm-hmm. My brother got me in trouble once. And in front of my friends, my dad didn't even hear it. But my brother, the tattler, went and told my dad, so we were still living in Sherwood Park at the time, so I was still little. I was probably, okay, little, like I was eight, maybe eight, seven or eight, and my brother went and squealed like the little mm, that he is, and uh, said that I said this naughty word. Well, my dad didn't even hear it, but he was so mad. He came out with the garden hose and some Irish spring soap. Yes, he did. And he washed my mouth out in front of my friends. <sighs> that, okay, to this day, I still remember that. There's not very many things that I remember about my childhood, but that I remember. <laughs> and um, probably because it was uber embarrassing. Um, but unfortunately, it did not curb my swearing. Um, I just learned not to say it in front of adults um, and uh, beat my brother every time he thought about trying to tattle on me. <sighs> such a brat. Now he is like 6'2", six, 6'3", six, something like that. And he's a big boy. And, uh, you know, when I hit him now, um, he always, he laughs. He laughs and goes, oh, a fly hit me. Ha, ha, ha. Do it again. And I'm like. I will beat you. I will hurt you. Remember all those times when you were a sniveling little with a, in my, in my elbow, in a headlock going to school? Yeah. Yeah. I still remember those days. Mm -hmm. I relived those days. It's the only revenge I have. <laughs> Cause now, anyway. Okay. So back to the conversation that I was having about the little, uh, uh how many, um, how many diamonds you can get into these as you can see there's a varying shades sizes of um of packages and um they hold they hold quite a bit and i think that we discovered when i was doing the kidding up collab piece with diamond art addiction that um that i got eight i think it was eight um, of those little packages that come from Ally Express, uh, from most, most sellers. Some sellers package them a little different, but, um, most of the sellers on Ally Express all do these dinky little, dinky little packages, um, that hold, I have no idea how many diamonds and you can get eight Eight packages into that I tried for nine wasn't happening but I'm I'm pretty sure I got eight in there so yeah these little jars hold a lot so don't be afraid mm, I don't think I'm gonna make it so close so close okay so I covered the 
the um, challenge. So if you have, if you have the JoJo's Art um, kit called Dreamcatcher Wolf and would like to do it with um, Allie and Mar Mar oh my goodness, Mariska. Mar oh, I just butchered her name. I'm sure of it. I will link that also in the comments, not the comments, the description below. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place today and I don't know why. Um, I mean, it is morning, but okay. Let me just double check that I'm still on the right track. 23, 20. Oh, yes. I do have these all set out. Um, but I moved some stuff when I, um, because that's what I do. And I, I was pretty sure that I had not moved anything out where it shouldn't have been. But it's always good to double check. What is that? Oh, these ones are staticky. That's the first time I've received staticky drills from Diamond Art Club, I believe. Hmm. Okay. Come on, guys. Yep, I'm going to do some chasing. Okay. And they've gone over my table a little bit too. So we'll do there. Okay. Actually, that was not bad at all. I have definitely had worse, but you can see them clinging to the to the edges of the jar. It was pretty funny. Um, yeah, so I so my wheel chose two diamond painting kits. It chose this one, Wolf Dreamcatcher, and then, um, what is it called? White Roses and Butterflies, I think is what it's called. Now, I don't know if there is an artist to that one. Um, and it is one I never unboxed either. Um, I, it was one of the first diamond painting kits I bought from, that I bought from Diamond Art Club to try them out because, you know, I was watching YouTube and all of these people um, doing their, some kits off of Diamond Art Club and how beautiful they were. And, um, and so I thought, well, you know, let me go and try them out. And because they were a, a little bit more money than I was used to spending from AliExpress kits. Um, and so I thought, well, let me find a couple of kits in the clearance because that's what I like to do, you know, to test things out. Oops, Ooh, that was loud, sorry. Um, you know, to see. And then because I needed to get to um, $75, for free shipping, um, I was like, oh, all right, let me have a look in their regular and see. And I saw this one and I was like, oh, my mom would really, really like that. <laughs> and I bought it. And I wasn't really thinking because my mom lives in Canada. And I sure as heck am not going to do that, frame it, and then send it to her because it would cost a million dollars. And so I'm like, oh, you aren't in that, Lisa. So I will do it for myself. And um, as for, you know, because I know my mom would enjoy it. And, um, and every time I see it, not that I need any remembrance of my mom, um, she's still alive. So that sounded weird, but you know, I, I, think about my mom every day, obviously. I don't talk to her every day, but, um, you know, every time I see that, that picture, it'll just be like, mom, my mom's here. So, um, so I just thought that that's what I would do. Oh, another staticky one, but it was part of, I want to say I bought four diamond paintings, my first kit. Did I? I bought... Magic Mama, Magical Mama, which I finished. That was on clearance because it was a smaller size one. Um, I bought Coffee Cup, 
which I have not done, and went into the wheel. Um, I bought... Which other one did I buy? Oh, for the Four Seasons tree. I bought that one. Um, that one I finished as well with Magical Mama. And then... What else did I buy? And then and then I bought this kit, the, uh, what is it called? Butterflies. It's the next one I'm going to kit up, actually. Um, white roses and butterflies. So that was the one that the wheel chose. Um, and it's kind of exciting. I, I honestly, okay, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping that it would pick Revealing Woman because I really want to do that one. And I don't need an excuse to do them. It's just I have so many diamond painting kits that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wheel for my Diamond Art Club ones and a wheel for my Ally Express ones. Okay, I cannot get these extra drills out. So these are really, really staticky. And I didn't bring anything with me to de-static my drills so we are going to painfully do it this way i apologize seriously i hope you guys are doing something while i am like rambling on because this is this was rough today i'm sorry so sorry there's only three more <laughs> there's only three more packages to go um so that's the reason why I chose, or I mean, that's the reason why I bought the um, white roses and butterflies, or white rose and butterflies um, kit was because it just reminds me of my mom. And, um, and the other ones I bought because I wanted to try them out. Well, the very first one that I did was the Four Season Trees. Oh my gosh, you guys, I, I, really, from that point on, I've just fell in love. Come on, come on out. I mean, I'm sure that I'm never going to be one diamond off on Diamond Art Club, but let's get all those babies in there. Um, yeah, and so I was sold. Then the second one that I kitted up was Magical Mama, which I did for my granddaughter in her room. And um, it's still not framed, you guys. Nope, haven't even bought the frame. It's still sitting in my cart for pictureframes.com. Um, maybe by now it's gone. But I keep getting these emails from them. Your cart, what's in your cart is now 30% off. Free shipping this weekend for everything in your cart. And I'm like, okay, I should get it together and, um, and do that. But now that I've finished Serene Siren Triptych... Um, I can measure it up and get a, oh, not going to make it in this one either. I have an awful lot of extras that I'm going to have to find bags for, which is not a problem. I have bags. Um, and in one of my previous videos, I offered up, you know, those little teeny tiny plastic bags that come in every toolkit um, for, uh, Kitting up your diamonds and I offered those up to the first person who commented on that video and um, Pam did so they will be I gathered them all up last night Pam and what I have and they will be coming to you in the mail on Monday because I am thrilled that somebody wants them now I've got to figure out what to do with all of the pens the waxes and Oh, Lisa and the boats because um, I am never in a billion years. My granddaughter helped me last night put everything together. And she's like, why do you need so many pens? Can I have these pens? And I'm like, no, what are you going to do with them? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, uh, no, you're not keeping the pens. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> so. Um, I had to figure out what to do with those. If anybody has any suggestions, I am open. Um, I don't know that the teachers around here, that that's something that they would want. Um, maybe if you take the, would they be good for blow painting the pens? Oh, I was about to do it again with my special ABs. Oh, 
really troubles today. Um, yeah. Okay. And then let's put these little special gems into one, two, even though they've got a bag, you know what? I'm just going to leave them in their bag because they're so per -te. Put them in there like that. Did that seem normal to you? Yeah. It's just so that I don't, you know, lose them in my cargo net. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's all done. And and this is my little teeny tiny pile of garbage. Not a big deal. Um, I will be doing this kit. We'll be staying here at this home, my home. And, um, and I have kind of a story that is going to go along with this kit. I chose this one for my boyfriend. It's kind of like a healing kit for me. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about my divorce story. Um, I talked a little bit about how, you know, we'd been together for 28 years, married for 26 years. And, you know, he decided that that's not the life he wanted. And so I kind of uh, touched on that a little bit in one of my previous videos. And so this kit is, is not going to be a slam on, you know, him or whatever, but it's just going to be a kind of like a lead up to um, our divorce and then a little bit of what I happened during the divorce and then after the divorce and finding the guy that's in my life now and so kind of that little healing journey so that's what this kit is going to be um my whips and sips so uh if that's something that interests you um you know there's a lot of my my life I guess that's going to be in in that um and how I ended up to where I am now. So, um, so yeah, so that's what that, that is going to be. So if that interests you, I hope that you will join me on, on this journey. If not, maybe it will help, you know, uh, I have some advice. Uh, I learned a lot about divorce and divorce court and, um, you know, what to do, what not to do. I learned a lot. So, um, some advice maybe for anybody who may be going through the same thing. So that's what this kit's going to be about. So, um, thank you for joining me. I will be kitting up that, uh, white roses and butterflies one soon. So watch for that kit and a giveaway video is coming up soon, like this weekend. Fingers crossed. I have all this stuff. It just, I just want to make sure that I have my ducks in a row and that, you know, I don't want to upset people. And um, so, yeah. So anyways, I'll get into that with my next video. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.